Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ice Man. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're gonna do a lot this week. I mean, I got a lot planned for this week, but I don't know how much of it I'm gonna actually upload this week. So anyway, whatever whatever gets uploaded, y'all go ahead and, and and show your boy some support, regardless of what. We got some gaming coming this week for sure. We got um reactions, of course. And we got a couple anime videos I got planned for later on this week. So, um, yeah, I'm still working on the Spartacus video for those of you who's here for that that content. Um, I'm still working on the the video I'm working on now is about Lucretia. So we're still working on it, and that's that's uh that's progress. That's progress, trust me. Um Yeah, so anything else you guys want to see, any reaction requests, uh let me know in the comments. Uh hit me up in the Discord. The Discord link will be down below. And uh yeah. Alright, gang, we got Growing Up With Black Parents by Yo-Yo 808. Y'all know who Yo-Yo 808 is. Don't act like you don't know who Yo-Yo 808 is because you don't live on a rock. Anyway, got Yo-Yo. Uh, we do react to Yo-Yo content. If you haven't seen those videos, I should probably put them in a playlist, to be honest. They probably lost the time. If it's not in the playlist on YouTube, do y'all really even bother with it? Hell no. You probably don't. But I'm going to put it in a playlist. Uh, we have reacted to some Yo-Yo -Yo, Yo -Yo stuff and Devante stuff. And that's pretty much it. And Stanley. We, we reacted to Stanley, too. But um, other than that, you know, we rock with everybody else. We just ain't got to it. We just, we knew with the reaction stuff, right? We've been working on the anime video for the better half of, like, two, three years now. And we're new with the reaction stuff. So whatever you guys want to see, let me know. And we'll get to it. But either way, we got Yo-Yo 808 growing up with black parents. And uh, let's, 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 let's see what bro talking about. Let you do something. I'm wrong and cry. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Uh, let you do something wrong and laugh. Oh, something funny? Yeah. Let you do something wrong and... Oh, so you got nothing to say? <laughs> hey, before I start this video, I do want to say... Oh, no, boy, the brains, okay? ...is jokes and generalizations. That's all the internet is, so... Please don't take anything I say too seriously, and please do not apply your situation to what I'm saying as well. Because I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to make jokes on the internet. Peace. Hope you enjoy the video. Like parents, we all got them. <laughs> Nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Being raised by black parents gotta be up there with Navy SEAL training. It's something that'll tax you not only physically, but also mentally. Because it's not as simple as you do something wrong and you get beat. Because when you do something wrong, black parents won't beat you. Yeah. No, no, no. They won't beat you immediately. Because if you do something wrong in front of a black parent, they will tell you that they're gonna beat you. Ah, oh, shit. My mom used to whoop the man. What? No, nah, I'm just playing. Oh, I could probably count on my hand how many actual whoopers I got. But it was on site with my mama. My mama wasn't playing no games. Like, whatever I did, it was on site. She's going to whoop me then, and she's going to whoop me later. Probably, if she remembered it, if she remembered something about it, I thought about it more, and felt like the whooping that I got wasn't the whooping that I deserved, she was going to double back on that ass whooping. A double Big Mac ass whooping with a side of pain is what I got. I just walk away. Like, nothing happened. Like, they didn't literally just threaten. They will tell you and let you just sit in the batter of anxiety that they just dunked you with. That will force you to go through the whole day scared of everything. Yo, yo, you kind of killing them Ellen Iversons right now, though, big dog. I ain't gonna tell you. Everything. Completely expecting to get beat at any moment just for them to do nothing. And then right, right as you drop your guard and think they forgot, you, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you about that. I, 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 you get hit with a guerrilla warfare beating. I remember this one time I was upstairs in my room. Yeah, yeah. And I hear my mom call my name, which means everything that I was doing has to come to a complete stop. I could have been doing open heart surgery and my mom would have told me to pause. No, my mom called me. <laughs> but not only do I have to stop everything that I was doing, but I need to go downstairs. Because when a black parent calls your name, you can't respond. Yes, mom. Yes. Because they will not acknowledge your existence. Bro, oh my God. So I'm not the only person that dealt that growing up. Cool. Man, they will call your name, and then when I be like, "Yeah," or "No, not yeah," the wind does say, "Yo, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am." She never responds. She never responds. But after I finally get up and go and see what she wanted, or if I took too long and kept saying, "Ma'am," if I don't say nothing, does that mean come here?
You ain't never told me that. I didn't know these were rules. You just called my name. You automatically supposed to know. If they call your name, get your ass up and go see what they want. Until you were right in front of them. So I get up and go downstairs to my mom. And the task that she called my name multiple times to do is to pour her a glass of water. So I go to pour her water with an attitude, of course, because I can't lie. She interrupted my focus. I could have been doing something extremely important. Yo. What if I gave you open heart surgery? So when I give her her water, I walk upstairs and I suck my tongue. But it was a completely involuntary thing. I was just really annoyed, but nothing happened. So the next day hits, I wake up, my mom makes me breakfast. I head to school, finish up there. And then me and my brothers, we have a car. I know why she waited that long, bro. Up, and she's driving us there. So we're chilling in the car. I'm looking out the window and- <laughs> Ain't no way. Nah, your mom just wanted to hit your ass. <laughs> Ain't no way she waited no almost 24 hours to hit your ass for sucking it. Nah. She was about she was about to call you back right after you did that shit. It was it did hit your ass and, and sent you all about your way. Nah, she your mama was meticulous, big dog. Ain't no way. My vision is blurred, my ears are ringing, my face is hot. I'm like, what was the, the airbag? Did we get into a wreck? My eyes readjust to the light and I realize we are parked. I look at my mom and she goes, that hurt, huh? What? You think I ain't hear you suck it? <laughs> the look he put on her face, she's so smug about it now. Nah, she was more than you that day before, bro. Teeth yesterday? My mom slapped the f out of my face, bro. I didn't even see her hand coming. One second, everything was chilling, and then the next, my face was contorted into the shape of a palm. I got hit with a slap that not even Raven Simone could have predicted, bro. I need you guys to really understand what just happened here. My mom. She smacked your ass because she wanted to smack your ass. You did something else, bro. You did something else other than just sucking your teeth, bro. You did something else. Like, either you, you, you might have took too long, or she might have... Witness the attitude the whole time you had the water and just been like thinking about it, meditating on. Even so, bro, she's supposed to say, nah. Nah. You heard me suck my teeth from upstairs. Once again, it's crazy how she didn't hear me go yes multiple times after she called my name, but that's besides the point. Bro, she heard you. She heard you when you said yes multiple times. I'm telling you. You was just supposed to get your ass up and go and see what she wanted. Point. She heard me do that. Drank her water. Went to sleep. Woke up the next day, went to work, did an eight hour shift, picked us up from school. And mm -hmm. during that entire duration of time, she had the intent to apply 5,000 Newtons of force to my face. Oh, she made me breakfast. She kissed me goodbye as I was going to the bus. Doing that while wanting to slap my face like a tetherball is crazy. She's probably seasoning the eggs like, you gonna suck your teeth at me? Kissing me at the bus stop like, oh, mommy loves you, okay? Have a good day. Mwah. I'm about to kill. This nigga go. This a brand, a brand, she was plotting on your head the whole time. Gorilla warfare parenting, bro. Another thing that black parents do is they do not allow you to express any type of emotion, bro. Let you no. do something wrong and cry. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Man, boy, I'm talking about. And I was an emotional kid, so I'm talking about. I, I'd be about to cry off something, and my mama just keep on. I'm give you something to cry about. You better not be crying and oh, man. Uh, let you do something wrong and laugh. Oh, something funny? Ah! Let you do something wrong and Oh, so you got nothing to say? <laughs> I wasn't a bad kid, but I was a clumsy kid. I was always breaking something, drawing on something. I flooded the entire apartment one time, so I got beat. Yo, yo, you was an L man, bro. You was a L, a walking L, bro. You, the fact that you, bro, some of these stories got to be made up, bro. You got to be just talking in these videos, bro, because no way you got all these videos on your channel of you, bro. There's no way. A lot, so much to the point where the beating stopped hurting and I stopped crying. So when that happened, my mom stopped beating me and my dad started beating me. Now my mom and my dad are split, so I only got beat by him. True God, true God is a menace. I believe he was on uh, Beyond Scare Straight. Your ass should have been on Beyond Scare Straight. You did all this bullshit. You was a badass child. Occasionally, but I still got beat by him so much that I adapted to that too. And when I stopped crying to his beating, you know what he responded? The nigga just punched me in the chest, bro. The nigga <laughs> I wish my father would. 
nigga punched me as nigga said i bet that hurt like bro you cannot win like bro i am 14 years old resisting grown man strength do you not realize that you're not raising a child anymore you are raising a super soldier i just could not win and even you look like a damn super soldier now and get an apology swole it's never an actual apology that man there. trapezius <laughs> hey the food's ready i already made you a plate come down before it gets cold now i'm gonna give you this phone back but Hey, uh, I found all the Dragon Balls. Let's let's go ahead and wish you back to life. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, rip my boy, rip my boy. Just never really get an actual apology. You know what? That's okay because I'm not going to lie. Some of the sweetest, most nurturing moments I've had with my mom were minutes after getting my ass beat, bro. And this is the same thing with my dad but in a completely opposite way. Some of the most traumatizing and scariest moments Ooh. I've ever had with him. For me, yeah, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Like, I don't, it's like I'm tired, but I'm not tired. It's after being completely calm with them. The thing about moms is that they're never completely chill. Hey mom, could I get $5 for a cookie at lunch? Grab my purse. See, constant level of hostility. But when you do- You had a you had a cookie at lunch that cost $5? It must have been one of them big, big back ass cookies. Crumble cookies. Y'all must have had crumble cookies or something, right? We get beat is not surprising because the graph is already kind of up there. But, but dads. Yo, yo, come down and do these dishes for me, boss. Appreciate you. Fine. What you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The graph goes from completely chill to. But 17 more years. International war crime levels of rape. Hey, damn, you on the top steps. Do not promote me to a. Ooh, promote is crazy. I'm going to put the clip. Don't provoke me to anger, or else you be in danger. Have you ever made your dad so mad that he, st that he starts laughing, bro? It's like, okay, bro. That shit is scary, bro. Like, my dad's belt wouldn't even completely come off, and I would start bawling. The way I like oh to think of black parents, at least from the door. Not my parents. Not, not my dad, though. My mom and my dad was never together. But sometimes when I knew I was going to get a whooping, Man, cause I didn't get I didn't get many whoopings. I wasn't really a bad kid, so I I never got caught that much. I did a lot of shit that bad kids do, but I never got caught that much. Somebody else always took that L for me. So with that being said, story times might come to the channel at some point. Who knows? I might throw them up on the gaming channel because I most likely be playing a game, going to tell a story. That type of that that type of shit, you know. But anyway, um. I used to start crying immediately because with me, I would see the disappointment in my mom's face or the disappointment look on my mom, like in my mom's gift, and that'd be enough to make me cry because I'm like, ah, oh, she about to beat me, ain't it? Like, it, yeah, and I, I wanna, I'm not a big fan of pain, so, you know. American point of view, since that's how I grew up. I see black mothers as lionesses. Nurturing, but hardened due to their environment. I know a hell of men, myself included, who grew up watching their moms work ridiculously hard and ridiculously long just to provide for them. And I see mm -hmm. black dads as the male lions. Not in the picture at all. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But fathers are just more chill, but they clearly give off this sense of masculinity and authority. So you never really messed up in front of them. And when you did, Sheesh. I'm realizing, unfortunately, this video did go from a harmless rant to me talking about discipline and the negative things. And I'm not done. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Cause I ain't even get to the wooden spoon, having to stand in a corner holding a book or some water or something, getting put on quote unquote punishment, which is 10 times worse than getting grounded. Unfortunately, one of the main aspects of having black parents is harsh discipline. But the thing is, you can't blame them for that. Unfortunately, it's just how their parents raised them and how their parents raised them. And I ain't gonna lie, like certain stuff like that your parents will make you do like wash dishes well wash the dishes for instance if your parents say go wash dishes and they expect you to go in there and wash dishes to their standard their standard of washing dishes is going to be their parents standard of washing dishes like you see what i'm saying like the way that they when they tell you to do certain stuff like clean up or something it's going to be to their parents like standard of thing because that's how they were raised and it, when you don't do that to that standard they're gonna whoop your ass the same way their parents would be whooping them 
It's just generational trauma. So even though I personally have some major vices because of how I was raised and I would never raise my children in the way that I was raised, I love my parents and I'll never hold that against them because they did their best with what they had. Once again, some of my fondest moments were apology meals or like trips to the park after getting my ass beat. Once got beat in a hotel at a Disney World. Damn, bro. what did I you do? The beat, nigga, we was at Disney World. That shit was fun as hell. And it was a vibe to make fun of black parents for beating us and whatnot, but there's also a lot of positive. Black gatherings are some of the most fun and wholesome places to be. The food, the music, the potato salad without the raisins and celery. Have you ever had two relatives beef over who's a better cook and then they just go meal for meal with each other? The itis after that is crazy. But another thing you get from having black parents is you- I ain't gonna say the itis. Cause I got two aunties that can cook good things, but not the same things that are good. Like I got one auntie, she throw down. She throws down when it comes to the, like making the baked beans and stuff, but nothing else. Then I got another auntie. She throws down when it comes to making like mac and cheese. Nothing else. So when they try to go tit for tat, if that one auntie that's good with the baked beans, I start making macaroni and cheese, and they done fucked it up. They done, the whole ratio of the dinner has been fucked up. It's, it's all it's all over with compliment i get in life as an adult is on how polite and respectful i am and i 100 percent attribute that to having black parents when i was brought up they raised me to make sure that i not only have confidence and demand respect but they also made sure i did not disrespect other people and no matter how you see it having respectful kids in this day and age currently is a flex on the parents part i can't lie another thing is work ethic the reason i am even able to juggle an animation channel a reaction channel a vlog channel all of this is because once again when i was brought up i just i just have so many memories of watching my mom slave away <laughs> to provide for us. I watched her, watched her work a nine to five and do college at the same time while raising. I went to her graduation. I watched her climb the corporate. And it's like, bro, you watch your parents go through all this to make sure that you straight, bro. That's why I get, that's why I do this, man. I do this. I want this to, I want this to be, I want this to, to be like my breakthrough. You feel me? Cause I love doing this. I love making YouTube videos. I love interacting with y'all. And I want this to be my big breakthrough so I can take care of, so I can make sure my mama's straight. I want to make sure my mama have whatever she want in life, everything she need in life, and don't have to struggle no more. Because even now, as an adult, I have my own life, my own, starting my own family and stuff like that. Like, I still have my own bills to pay, but I still think about, like, how nice it would be to be able to be like, mama, don't worry about this, don't worry about that. You just go and live and have fun. Like I want, I want my mom to be straight. I want my mom to be straight. I want my family to be straight. Ladder to get to where she is right now. She did all of that while being a single mother of four children. Growing up watching that really burned into my brain how important a good work ethic is. I will use that to work as hard as I can to provide her the life that I know she deserves. That's a fall off, and then if that's the case. Mom, you better let me stay on the couch, bro. You're cooked. I'm trying to come up on some fucking money. They say they're laughing to. Yeah, I forgot your yoke rap. I ain't gonna lie. It's been some. It's been a little minute since I seen the end of this video. Cause normally, normally when I watch yo-yo, it be through Simba. Because I haven't been reacting to yo-yo lately a lot. So I like I keep up on this video because I watch Simba the God. And it's been a while since I seen one of his videos on through. But anyway, here we are. One of his videos all the way through. And, um, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Preferably a reaction that you want to see. If you leave me something that I can react to down below. I have gotten requests for certain things. But as soon as I try to put them up, blah, blah, blah. Even if, even if I use the transparency thing. So, we not, we not, we not, you know what I'm saying. Give me some, like, some, some scary clips or... Or something. Give me, give me something. Just give me something. Uh, I love you guys. Stay cool. Peace. I said I wake up in the morning to turn my trap on. And if you think it ain't scrubbing, bro, you think.